Angela Sharp standing by with one of the greats. I am so excited about this interview. Mr. Adam Oates is right here with me. You guys only really played together for what, two and a half years. But for us Blues fans, it, it felt like forever. Was it weird when you left here and left Hall? And you've got a lot of great accomplishments. You've got over a thousand assists, which is really cool. Do you like kind of being that setup man? Yeah, that was Another great matchup is the Nashville Predators versus the Jets. Now they played game two last night and went into two overtimes before Nashville won. That series is now also tied 1-1 and they'll pick it back up tomorrow night. We're in there. <laughs> so when were you thinking about this? Like, um, and right how many drugs were you on? And this was going <laughs> your head. I mean, so you've said a little bit about the rap thing in country music, but then you have the spoken word. What's the rap? I mean, I Hey, Rays fans, Angela Sharp here at Tropicana Field. The boys are back in town after a seven-game road. There are plenty of great giveaways this homestand and even better baseball. We want to see you here at Tropicana Field. And don't forget, vote Rays. The trades the Rays had. Now, of course, Wilson Ramos was traded to the Phillies, but I want to start with the one that I'm most excited about. A couple of minor leaguers to the St. Louis Cardinals for outspoken outfielder Tommy Pham, and plus the Rays will have control for three years. Yeah, you know. Now, I know that uh, your fans are trying to vote for you again for Hottest Bachelor for the Country Weekly. Are you still a bachelor? I All right, so tell me, is there any crazy weird stories about women trying to get your attention lately? Cardinals home opener is like the unofficial holiday here in St. Louis, which is always amazing. And this time, I mean, this is the first time in a long time that the Cardinals home opener is actually the home opener of baseball altogether. So we are in for a treat tonight and especially against the World Series champ. It's amazing keeping him one of the longest current players at one organization, which you got to love it. Everybody in Cardinals Nation loves the Audi. Uh, they're people that we have a lot of fun with. And you're quite the professional. Reeves is over here throwing everything he's got at you. Is it fun for you guys to get out and about like this? It is. Keith Urban is an awesome guitar player, and he's going to get to show another side of himself when he joins blues great Buddy Guy on one of Buddy's tracks. But right now, let's keep it country with Cop Car. I sure would love to play this night again, so I think that is the perfect dance to end with. Play it again, Luke Bryan. She so he says you helped him with the comedy. Did he help you with the action? Uh, he did. Well, sort of. Caught up with the man of the hour right here, Nelly. Tell us a little bit about the black and white ball. This is the sixth year you've done this. I also heard a rumor that you had a workout video happening. For <laughs> a 10-day road trip featuring two all-star performances from Blake Snell. Snellzilla tossed for 11 and two-thirds innings, allowing only four hits, no earned runs, and striking out 19. Now we're back in town tonight, 4-7, and featuring a few new faces. Jake Bowers and Diego Castillo recently called up from AAA Durham. And there's more than baseball going on here this week at Tropicana Field. Welcome to St. Louis Country. I'm your host, Angela Sharp. Weekend on 92.3 WIL. Kind of losing my voice a little bit. We've had quite the weekend. Zach Brown Band and Eric Church. And I've got another great night for you right here. We have videos. We have dancing and a lot of country fun. We're going to take it where all the magic happens right there on the dance floor. Brad Paisley, Riverbank. It's time for your Minute America Chevy Dealers Artist of the Week. I gave you a little hint. He's nominated for a CMA in his video. I hope you get lonely. It's Cole Swindell. Now, you know, you kind of had like a slower start in the beginning of the season, ending out on top of the world. Do you have any advice for Davis Payne? Energy Drifter Vaughn Gittin Jr. with me. How are you doing today? I'm doing wonderful. No, do you like coming to events like this and, you know, drifting for the people right up close like this? After that half, what adjustments are we going to make? we, we got to stop the run defensively. Uh, we did a good job earlier. We kept making them snap the ball, but we didn't do it good enough. we got to make sure we continue to do that. And we found some things that we can do offensively. we just got to make sure that we're executing in the second half and come out here and do our job so that we can uh, turn this game around. And you're going to turn this game around, right? That's always the plan. If you're not in it to fight, you shouldn't be in it, and we're in it to fight. I love it. Good luck to you, Coach. Thank you. Back to you, Harry and Isaac. It's become only a very, very small section of cars, but it's the best part, if you ask me, in my opinion. They've got some old Packards there and a lot of those old classic vehicles. You can reminisce about your youth or, like me, just wish you grew up in a different time. Fans, I have Chris Carpenter with me right here. Tell me what, oh wait, hold on. What is that like for you? Oscar is by far the best character on Sesame Street. Even when I was a little kid, Oscar the Grouch was my absolute favorite character. But now that I know that the same guy puppeteered them and voiced them, I'm really confused on how that worked when they were together in scenes. 
and they were together often because Big Bird was my second favorite character. And the Rays are fresh off a sweep of the Royals. They got a walk-off win on Thursday night. And not only is it a sweep, but it's a season sweep. The first time the Rays have swept an American League team in a season. It is in theaters this Friday, October 19th. Now, I don't know what's going to happen because I obviously haven't seen this movie yet. However, because of the climate we're in, I'm afraid that she's going to win. And I hope that's not right because Halloween movies should always end with the bad guy winning. Now, if scary movies aren't your thing, how about Boo at the Zoo Nights? Present Join the coolest kids club in town. For just $25, get two tickets to a future Blues game, and you get to hang out with this guy. Visit stlouisblues.com slash Junior Blue Note. Hey there, I'm Angela Sharp, right outside FedEx Field, the home of the Washington Redskins with EVGO. All right, hey everybody, I'm here. I'm gonna show people the original gift card and see what they think of it. It's really cool, come, come with me. Ever since the beginning, St. Louis Blues fans have wanted two things. They want the Stanley Cup, and they also wanted a winter classic. Well, it's a very rainy day here in St. Louis as the St. Louis Blues finally get their wish. It's a winter classic day. That's when hey there, I'm Angela Sharp, and you guys already know this man child right here. Who are you calling a man child? That's right, it's the real life Peter Griffin, and we are here at Tampa Bay Comic Con 2018. Season, the way they ended the first. You know, they won their last 14 of 15 games right here in Tropicana Field. And I hope you were checking out the 89th annual All Star Game. Hello. You've kind of went from the Cardinals there to the Hollywood, making your circuit on the all the talk shows. What's been the best part of your MVP tour? You know what, honestly? It's on fire as well, bringing up 15 strikeouts on the way to Blake Snell, picking up his league leading 18th win of the season, which is pretty awesome. Now we're gonna wrap up that series tomorrow with Baltimore, and kids 14 and under can get this awesome snacks, which I can put some of these sunflower seeds that have been thrown at me in. Snack and a drink cup presented by Matchup. Race fans, you know what I need you to do? I need you to make some noise for our boys and raise up. And of course, you can always get the sunflower seeds. Come here, come here, come here. This, this has been coming all season long. All season long, right there. <laughs> and of course, as we get close to that final out, what I need you guys to do is make sure you get your season tickets for the 2019 season. Prepare to eat. So excited about this. If you're craving a little royal treatment, White Castle is the place for you. You mentioned your dad earlier. What's the most important lesson he's taught you? So we have three game packs or five game packs. Packs start as low as $87. And if you buy multiple packs, you get this stainless steel blues tumble. Hey there, Rays fans. I have a lightning founder and NHL Hall of Famer, Phil Esposito, with me right here. Now, we could talk about you all day. Two Stanley Cups, first NHL player to record 100 points. But I want you to bring us back to when you brought the lightning here and played right here in the Thunderdome. Do this. It's going to be a whole computer takeover. I'm already pretty positive that my phone is spying on me. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be one of those people wearing tinfoil hats, and this is just taking it one step next. The Vegas Entertainment Guard gives you unlimited discounts for golf, shows, attractions, nightlife, hotels, and so much more. Grab your wireless phone and text BLUES to 41039. Good luck from Verizon Wireless, the exclusive wireless provider of the St. Louis Blues. Louie, not one of those jerseys, an autographed game worn jersey. The Sharks are back in St. Louis to take on the Blue Note Tuesday, December 17th. You don't want to miss it. For tickets, call 622 Blue or visit stlouisblues.com.